for this demonstration, I'm going to repot this large Venus flytrap. There's going to come a time after you've had your Venus flytrap for two or three years that you're going to have to repot it. That um, if you leave it in the pot for too long, if you fear of um, damaging it, eventually your Venus flytrap will lose its vigour, it'll lose its strength. They actually tend to bury themselves down deeper in the pot each year and take longer and longer to come up in the spring. And also the compost will become sour and um, salts will build up which will eventually start to stunt your Venus flytrap. So first of all what we do is just simply knock the plant out of the pot. What I do is just a few taps on the base, a little jerk, and out it comes. Now this Venus flytrap has been in this pot for about three years and as you can see very few roots around the edge. We have a few roots at the base and you can see the nice new living roots with their little green tips. So we have a black root and a little growing point at the end. And if you've got these, you can see that you've got a Venus flytrap with a nice healthy root system. What I do first of all is actually tease off the old compost around the top and this should come off very easily. Don't worry about tripping your traps. This is a job that's almost impossible to do without tripping the traps. And it doesn't do it any harm. It's not as though we're doing this too often. And you see the compost just falls away. And what we can see then exposed are all the separate bulbs. This was one plant when it was planted in this four inch pot. And now it's divided into many plants. It's going to be interesting to see how many we get out of this one. So we tease the old compost and it breaks off very, falls away very easily. And if you give your plant a wriggle, get your thumb in there between the bulbs, you can again tease the old compost off, feed it and it will just come apart. And we can get rid of a bit more compost between. Now we've got a nice clump here. Keep it still and shove it up again. Right. Here we have a nice large bulb. As you can see, over the winter, Venus flytrap puts a lot of its energy into this um, bulb under the ground, and this is really where the energy res reserves are kept. So separate them off. And we, we're going to end up with many plants of different sizes. You see we've got kind of a medium sized plant here, a little small one here. All of them have a few bits of root on. This is this dead part here with all the dead roots on. As you can see there's no white on the growing points. This is the back of the rhizome, of the old rhizome. Because as a Venus flytrap grows forward, it dies off at the back. So what you can do is you can clean off the old leaves, pull them away. This actually helps prevent grey mould or otherwise known as botrytis, which after Venus flytraps have been repotted, again, they, they suffer a bit of stress for this and um, can be a bit more prone to get fungal problems. So it's a good idea to um, clean as much as the old growth off. One more here, a small one there. What I do is I grade the plants off into different sizes, the small ones, the medium ones, and the large ones, and that will influence what size pot that I put them in. Venus flytraps do not like to be overpotted. In other words, you don't want to put a very small plant in a large pot. The plant really just does not like that. The compost becomes sour, and the plants really won't grow into it. So if you get a nice large plant, you can put it in a larger pot. We'll start off with the large plant, which has got kind of one, two growing points. It's been fairly well cleaned off. What I do, get hold of the plant just at the top of the bulb, where the bu bring the leaves together, have the new roots hanging down. So they're going down into the bottom of the pot, Hopefully not all bent up, but you don't want the plants coming out like this. Get them nice in. Get your compost. 
Now your compost wants to be nice and friable, not too lumpy, so that the compost can fall in amongst the roots. Hold your plant in the centre. Now getting the height is important. I actually rest my fingers over the pot, pour the compost around, give it a shake, lift the leaves up, and you can see that I'm not pressing the compost in, I'm letting it fall in, give it a good shake, and that will allow the compost to fall in amongst the roots. And when I've done that, I will then put this straight into my water tray to allow it to draw up water so the roots won't suffer. And there we have one of the larger Venus flytraps done.